And then, so now I will welcome again, because I'm still seeing some joining us. Uh, so if you are, um, if you'd like to say hi and where you're from in the chat and, and feel free to uh, add a weather report in there. Um, and we like to know also if you're new to Zentangle or just new to us, it it helps to know. Um, not, I like, yeah, not that we're going to be on our best behavior, but... <laughs> Oh, but you know, actually it helps me so that way I make sure to uh, um, use explain. proper terms and yeah. explain them. Explain. <laughs> well, we, we could call it, wait, Zensplain. We'll, we'll make that a term. Yeah, you'll Zensplain it. <laughs> All right. So I'm, oh, okay. Well, Pervy, welcome. New to us. All right. So I've put in the chat. Uh, the tangle for today, and I'm gonna. I'm, so here's how our process goes: is I, I share the link. Oh, and I have the for more inspiration link. Let me find it. This is her pin. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not even sure. Um, uh, just because I don't know. I think this is Spanish, maybe. Now I'm not sure. Somebody. Will probably tell me when I put the the Instagram link in. Um, yeah, so this is this was a neat one. It, it, I caught my eye, and then I kept kept going away from it, and then it kept drawing me back. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right, you, it's your turn, you'll go. And um, so anyway, so I'm going to share my screen in a moment, and uh, just some housekeeping. So we, um, mom and I, for those that are new, and I, we never introduce ourselves. But um, Cherie is my mom. This is all, this is, uh, oh, okay. See, thank you, Sandy. Um, uh, Gildo is a Spanish guy. All right. Uh, so um, we, we joke that this is all mom's fault, but really it's all somebody else's fault that took her to a Zentangle class. Mom is, mom, I'm still going to say you're an artist. Because you have a degree in art education and it's, wonderful in, in all things but as you said you don't like to draw or paint right? or paint either one right Forget so, it. <laughs> other other art stuff yes. <laughs> but can do it yes and, um, i have to <laughs> <laughs> and then so she was kind of drugged to a class reluctantly or went you went reluctantly you weren't drugged yes um and then came back and said oh heather you might like this and i'm like oh sure I, that was in my head. I, 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 the outside, my voice said, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and well, I so, the whole. I think I taught the whole family that weekend. That you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah you did. And you're the you only were... one that still does it. <laughs> <laughs> I just take all their stuff. Um, and so, so <laughs> I started down that path just to say, just to say that. Well, we're going to keep our webcams on, and that way everyone on small screens can see. And um, and then also utilizing the chat versus um, opening up the mics because it's just a lot easier uh, to hear and and also to see because it's sometimes either uh, well being that we have an international crowd sometimes with accents or just the bandwidth alone and and equipment it's hard to sometimes hear so it makes it easier and that's what it's all about making it easy. So let me share my screen and we will talk through this and then we'll do. Oh, and also for those that are new, we're um, work on whatever you want. So I'm mom and I usually pick something a little bit different just because. But if you're working on a sketchbook, you can do that. If you're if you want to make a tile that's complete, you can do that. It's all up to you. Um, and the only thing is the, the fun part is the only thing that really ties everything together is that we're all doing the same tangle and then we see what we all did with it. All right, so okay, so this is Arben by CZT Gildo Sobrino. And I like I said, it, it caught my eye. It's also it's a fragment. So oh and <laughs> thank you, Alyssa. Um it's a fragment, and now, and for those that don't know what that is, I'll, I'll share in a minute. It's this is going to be essentially could be in a well, we'll say it's in a grid pattern, but then you can flip things around and you know make new patterns just by the way you, um, the direction you do each little box. 
So it starts off kind of like crescent moon if you've done that if you've done that tangle with three little bumps or ladybugs on the bottom of the box, whatever you know, whichever direction you're going to call down. Then from the left side of the bump, we're going to just draw a curve line up to the right corner, as you can see. And I, I um, actually, I was just copying Gildo's step out, so I just copied uh, how he did it. And then, so all three going to that one to the right corner. Then we're going to flip it on box, as you see in box number four, and the right side of each little bump. We're going to draw a curve line to the left corner. And then uh, he is filling in this little center diamond, which is neat, and then shading. But here I put the, it in a grid pattern, uh, all going the same direction. So if we flip to, so here's Gildo's um, Instagram page. And that's his step out. And it, and it confused me because his went uh, top. It, it left to right, but then right to left. So it took me, I'm like, what? Oh, I had to, you know, it, and then I felt silly afterwards. Why did I have to look at that five times to figure it out? So here's what can be done. <laughs> One of the things, um, and this is, looks like it's flipping it backwards. So going, you know, having it go up and then, then down. I don't know what it would look like if you did them in other directions. So there's a lot of fun that can be had by doing that. And, and you almost have to pick, if you can picture in your mind one box and then turn it and see, or just experiment. It's completely up to you. So it's a lot of fun. Let me see. And I, I'm thinking this was inspiration, but I'm not sure. If somebody uh, under, uh, reads um, Spanish, then you can uh, interpret for us. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm not seeing anything up there. If you scroll down, the next one down oh. looks like those arches. Oh, it doesn't, it, have, it isn't this one. It isn't this tangle. Yeah, this is just uh, more of, of his posts is down below. But yeah, it was yeah. attached to this post. So so anyway, I'm not sure. But it's really, really neat. And this, this caught my eye. And yeah, let's see. And on, oh, and this is where I got it from. Uh, there's nothing else here, otherwise I'd give you the link. But um, it just it, it looks neat, just all going the same direction too. That's what caught my eye first. So lots of fun that could be had uh, filling in. Because I was thinking, gosh, it could look kind of um, stained glassy, or I don't know. It's guess what I'm going to try it on. Uh, I see, and. <laughs> Well, you so can everybody, use it. Everybody gets the cheating thing. Out. Everybody just follow Heather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that well, that's a good. The other thing is, yeah, you can either follow along me. I'm going to do it. I, I'm I'm being the straight laced. I'm the little bit of country, and Mom is the bit of rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we switch. Sometimes we're both rock and roll. Hi, Leslie. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> Osmonds. I'm waiting for someone to uh oh my gosh. Oh, um and I was um Deb Monero came up with another tangle and actually Cassie did also. Uh and Cassie had just sent it to me and um but uh, Deb had posted it and it was the um uh oh I don't have the name in my head. It was uh C I something but inspired by the bird of paradise. Paradise, and um, so I'm like, oh great, I have that song in my head now. And then I was waiting. I haven't checked back to see if anybody else knows that song. You mean about you the one where it flies up your nose? <laughs> yes. And then I had to play it so I could get rid of it. <laughs> oh my goodness! It. I'm deciding what color I'm going to use. That is my hesitation as I'm just like looking and. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, you know what? I'm using. All right. Let's go. Well, it's not going to look different here. And um, but I'm going to use a brown, I think, is what I'm going to do. Oh, maybe I'll alternate because I'm going to do more. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Tra more traditional Renaissance. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And it was, I, I'm sure it was also inspired, right, Sandy, by, uh, by Debbie's uh, 
eye surgery. And, um, right. So, and hi, Marie Jean. Okay, so I'm going to do just a regular, we're just going to do a regular grid. I'm going to be straight laced. Those straight lines. Oh my goodness. I know. And, and, and right off in pen. And in ink. Yeah. And for those that are new to Zentangle, usually when, when we teach the method of Zentangle, we start with pencil and we do four corners. We do a border like this. It can be whatever you want. And um uh, and then we put in what we call a string, which is just something that divides the the paper, and then we fill in all of those sections with different tangles. This is essentially a mono tangle. We're just doing the one tangle, and um, having fun with it now. How many times? How much? How many? Uh, how many boxes do I want to fill here? How small? How small or how big do we want to go? Oh, I think I'm going to do big because then you can, I could always do another one, or just wait till later. Oh, yeah, so for those that don't know, I, I, I thought, well, I'll wait a little bit and I'll put a little, I'll put a little link on so that way everybody can join little Jimmy Dickens and may the bird of paradise flop your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't write that. I thought, I, I, I got to find out who, who wrote this thing. He just performed it. And a lot of others did too. And I saw one of Glenn Campbell. They must have been in Hawaii or something because they had. Hawaiian shirts and stuff. No, no shirts. It had uh, flowers on their hair. I, I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't know what period, uh, Glenn, you were in in this one, but. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm hesitating. I apologize because I'm deciding which way. I, well, let's just do it. Um. So here's what I'm going to do. What I'm doing, I should be doing in ink because, I mean, actually, it's a grid. It's a grid pattern. It is a grid pattern. Oh, and that's one start off, off center. So I'm going to put, I'm just starting with a little, with the bumps. One in the center is usually where I start because I hope to get it close to center. So that way they're kind of spread out. Oh, look at how, okay, well, that's interesting. That's okay. Oh, and I'm going to have to think, am I going to put, I think I'll, Hmm. I might have to go back and look at it now. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to do it. I'm going. Well, you know, what? I'm just going to do these two boxes first. That's what I'm going to do, and then the other ones. I think I shall flip. Go the other direction because I really like the way that that looked. So this is just a giant four square. You could do it smaller. Do the two of you ever do tangle just the two of you together? You mean in person? <laughs> Obviously. Well, no, I mean, like, whether, I don't know if you even live near each other, um, but I mean, like, do the two of you just have your own um, Zen Tangle session together? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Well, sometimes when I go over and she's sitting in her chair tangle and I'm sitting in my chair you know, tangling and dad's watching TV. <laughs> and it's usually when we're working out plans for a class or something, you know. Okay, but never get, the tangle, never get the tangle, the two of you. You should. Yeah, because usually, yeah, usually when we're together, it's we're, we're doing, doing, you know, other things. But, but sometimes... <laughs> Are you saying we should do that, right? <laughs> yeah, I was just curious because I kind of wondered if the two of you, when you do it together, if you're just like you are now, when you the two of you chat with each other, or if yeah. you're quiet when we're you quiet. do it. <laughs> quiet. No, we're not usually quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just all of a sudden that just struck me. I just was curious what it was like when it was just the two of you. Yeah. Oh, no. it's not quiet. <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, so this is going to be interesting to see what how mom does this one. No, but yeah, yeah, because it's a you should, yeah. 
Oh, it's going to turn out neat. All right, so now I've got my curved lines going up to the one corner. Now I, I'm going to flip my tile. So for those new to Zentangle, one of the things that we do, number one is turn your tile so that way it's comfortable for you. And then two, you know, we always we plan our hand sort of and then use the natural curve. So that's why I'm turning my tile so that way I can then get these other ones. And then it keeps it kind of consistent, the curves. Okay, and then this one is the opposite side to the opposite corner. It's easy when you just, once you have the one done. So I'm only going to do two at a time because can't follow any faster than that. <laughs> well, then two, you can think, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I can see better how, how, you know, compare it. Although my squares are um, kind of wedges. Right, right. Okay, I'm already lost. Well, I think it's gonna. Be, well, it, oh, no, wait. it's still gonna turn out oh, I have similar to, oh, and I have neat. To, yes, I yeah. have to turn mine upside down so that I get. Okay, I got it. Oh, and it's so interesting. So you're going from the corner to the bump, where I go yeah. from the bump to the corner. Oh. Well, I'll do it that way too. Okay. Oh, that you know what. I just it's just one of those that we, where we we notice things and it's just like oh that's interesting that's all and then and I'm gonna dare say you know once once you get to the the point where you have have the lines drawn you know to the corners I mean filling in that center is nice but it could also just be playtime and you could do something else in there or in any of the other sections too. Um, I'm going to color my, you're, well, because of my camera, I'm coloring it in with the brown, not that you'll see. And then, you know, then, um, of course, then we'll, we'll play with some shading and things. Only I have, uh, <laughs> three more to do. Two more to do. Well, I have two, I still have two more to do, but I, then I, but I was thinking, oh, well, maybe that leaves me time. I could do another tile and have different fun. Well, I'm liking it already. It made me think of uh, footlights, but not as hard. Oh, that okay. one. Oh, and I don't even know that, that one? one. Oh my goodness! I don't remember. I it. Footlights. It. I think it's it starts off similar, except you're doing curves. It's. Oh, I think that's the right one I'm thinking of. It just. It's, let's see, if we remember the, was it circus? <laughs> we had the hollow bowing from you know where. <laughs> um, when we did the uh, the extra one, let me see if I can, um, what did I say, footlights? I think that's the right one. See, like there's two that are similar, but one, it's just, cur oh, F O O. I'm thinking that's the one it is. There's one that just kind of goes straight out, which that one is nice. Oh no, footlights is the nice one. Um, that one, the lines just kind of go straight out. Looks like starting from the center. It, it, it's different. Um, oh, now I'm gonna have to remember what the other one is. But it's lots of curved lines. Let's see. Yeah, and it so is what I was, easier. It does seem easier to draw from the bump to the corner. Does it? Well, yeah. and I was kind of using that using that curve a little bit. Yeah, and Leslie, yeah, it is. It is an, like a, yeah, an architectural angle. It, 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 yeah, it is very, very nice. And you know, I'm also kind of thinking because I was trying to make sure to have these like evenly spaced, but leaving a gap here. Towards the end, and I guess you kind of need it so that way when you're getting you, this, this last curve is just going to be little. But that's something that you could play with is the size of those, um, because the pattern it creates is really it's in those um, strings. And I, I, apparently, I, I kind of got maybe my mind was stuck on on spirography type looking um, 
things from our Tough Tangle Tuesday. <laughs> and let's see. And I think... Do I want to do it the straight way or do I want to flip it? Oh, let's flip it because that's what I want to do. And, and, and I want to sit here and think about it until I run out of time, apparently. <laughs> that's not good. That's... <laughs> Right. So, well, well, and actually, what's nice about if you're when you flip it is we're just gonna mirror little bumps. I, I'm thinking back to who who was it that asked if we sit and tangle together? Was that oh, Leslie? Leslie. Yeah. Leslie. I, I was thinking one of the times when we sort of did it was when we were working out plans for the lace class yeah and we were both researching and tangling yeah at the same time together but it still was not quiet right no and then uh, and um i think the one major time that we did was when we did nathan's box his toy box <laughs> yes <laughs> and that, that was a huge project oh wait did um I'm seeing if I have a picture handy. Something? I can't remember. I showed him something. Oh, it might have been the little flower pots I did for the class I have coming up. Yeah. I think it was that. I don't think you were around. And he noticed poke leaf on it. And he said, oh, that's just like on my toy box. Oh. <laughs> He recognized it and, you know, nice. and I said, I know. I said, Aunt Heather and I did lots of <laughs> poke leaf and poke root. And... Yeah, it's also, that's, a, that's a good, uh, um, another theme for a, for a class. Absolutely. Yeah, because there's, there's some other ones that I, I was calling a bit industrial. I like architectural better. That gritty. Yeah, that's exactly one. what I was thinking. Yeah. Well, you know what's interesting? Even if, because like this last one's like, even if your curved lines are more straight than curved, it still looks nice. Yeah, mine mine are <laughs> tending to be, some of them, like the last one I do, tends to be straighter. But you don't yeah. notice that once you get them, well, all put together. Yeah. And that's why I was thinking that to not have the, have, you know, the outer ones too close to the edge. To have a little bit of distance so that way you can have at least a, a smidge of room to make that curve. But that just looks really, really neat when you flip them like that. It does. It looks like something I've seen before. Hmm. Maybe just a few minutes ago. Could, that could be. <laughs> well, because, you know, it kind of makes you think of string art. and um, well, it, it, look, it, it looks like a logo for something. Oh. You know, like it could oh. be, you know. I was just about to write oh. it down. The old time news advertisement. When they did the news, that was the globe. Um, well, I, oh, yeah. Yeah. The string globe. Or, or uh. Uh, what is it like when they're uh, back back way back when when the station would go off and it had a, a signal saying oh yeah yeah <laughs> this is going off the air now right back back it when does look, yeah it does look global kind of a global yeah. thing it has that look well Heather's does mine mine looks more like spokes on a bicycle wheel tire <laughs> oh it does it does and you know yeah boomerang it is kind of like yeah that boomerang that we did yeah tangle yes and oh there's my white okay and then now in um oh no i think i'm gonna i'm gonna copy what they did so in um I was like, and I will see. In Gildo's step out, he 
did some shading. I, I, I feel the need to do something in these others, but I don't know what I want to do yet. So I'm just going to move to shading <laughs> and then go and then go back and do something else because I'm not going to shade in those areas. I want to do something else. And then the trick is a little bit. Um, the eyeball trick, you know, it's like, OK, wait, where where are these lines? Okay, you know, there they are, right there. Because it's like, it, it, once, it, once it's all done, then it's almost like you kind of forget what the original was. And, um, oh, and thanks, Leslie. Leslie says, I love that you both do something different. Yeah, different perspectives. Yeah. Endless possibilities. Absolutely. Well, that's, that, yeah, that, that's also what's fun. And then, then, of course, when we see what everybody did. I didn't look to see because I sent this to my friend. Nope, I don't see. Okay, my friend Christine. Um, I don't see. Okay. I thought, well, that's rude of me just to not even check when I just invited her. <laughs> it's like, can I just, just go on about my business and I don't even check? That's just oh. <laughs> Oh, well, let's, oh, you know, uh, with, with having that section colored, now I'm thinking how, how do I want to bring in the white? I don't know. So I can bring in the shading from the sides here like this, and that's neat. And then mm. I'm just then I'm just gonna say look at it for a minute. <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Not and now you can see Annie. <laughs> you wanted to see where your hand was covering it, but then you then you then you were thinking. Let's see. Oh, I know. I think I know. I am just going to go with my thought. Uh. Wait, that's weird. Oh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going with my thought. And then my thought changes as I'm looking at the lines, thinking, what do I want to do this? Because you could look at it too as that overall boomerang shape that is just decorated. Where I'm going with this. But I'm taking a leap. <laughs> Let's see. Are you you're working on a Renaissance, right, Tyler? Yeah. Yeah. I am too. Okay. Oh, okay. I am not. <laughs> hmm. Liking that. Good to have a focus, but sometimes it's like if you don't. When did I do this last where I was like, I was just all, all of a sudden just playing and not thinking so much. And that's always a good thing sometimes. Well, not always. Sometimes. <laughs> and if you're, well, not, not yours so much. I'm looking at mine and it's like, it's so busy. Um, uh -huh. I like it, but, yeah. you know, and then as you start shading and stuff it changes magically yeah hopefully hopefully magically <laughs> i'm not sure what to do with this center
and oh yeah, I was doing here. And You know, and sometimes just doing parts, I think we talked about it last time, can open up the thought process. Right. And then kind of, it's like, oh, well, I yes, I like that, or no, I don't. <laughs> and then you can kind of go from there. Let me I'll make mine bigger. No, I don't know. I think I might like that. Oh, and maybe I put a pattern or something in the inside or just leave it. I don't know. But I think I should do the flip side just the same. Hmm. And this is where the uh, fact that this, this can help with creative blocks because sometimes yeah. just Thinking outside the box. It. it can help it or create it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to do a lot more, but I don't know where to go next. I don't know where to go. Well, and this one is it um, is even more so like you know like we, we talk about creating our own coloring books and. Um, Be just a lot of neat ideas with that. And we're, oh, where did I put this? Right in front of myself. And I might go a little bit darker or a little bit more drama, but we'll see. I'm looking at yours and trying to figure what do I want to do? <laughs> Yeah, because you know, it started in, in his, you know, it, it shaded from the corners. Although I have left this one out. Now I don't know. Let me look back here. No, he just did the, yeah, just kind of did the two. And, uh, you know, you could do, well, you haven't added any white yet. No, and I just had another idea, which is going to make this look totally different. <laughs> we shall see how it turns out. How much time have we got? Oh, well, heck, we have a lot of time. I was just thinking because because Leslie's putting in in some some thoughts. We we could turn this into a. Well, I think I mentioned before we could turn this into a game show. All right. <laughs> not not the what will she do next? It'll be okay. Let's we'll, we'll take suggestions. Okay. And kind of like um, uh, improv things where um, I don't on the show uh, whose line is it anyway? They do it. When I was in um, school, we went, I forget where, if it was New York or Chicago or somewhere, and saw Second City, where a lot of uh, comedians kind of got their start. And they would do an improv session where they would take suggestions from the audience, you know, and and then do a skit right, you know, then and there. Yeah, we've been, we've started watching that. And it's amazing how they, how they do that. Yeah. It's, yeah, they just the, they'll be able to just go off the the top of your head, and at least you know seeing something that like that live, then you know that it's not. Well, you, you there could still be puts, and then too, if you you know if you do something long enough, you you know what people, you know, well not what they might shout out, but um, you can also since they get to pick and choose, they can. Uh, They have a little control probably in that. All right. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. Even if I don't huh, do something behind, but I feel like I should. I just don't know what yet. Yeah, and Debbie, yeah, Wayne, Perry, yeah, he is hilarious on that. So, oh, where did my? Oh, here's my. I'm surrounded by pens and still can't find what I want.
Okay. And let's see. And sometimes it does take a little bit. You just, you know, you got to take a look at it. Hold, you know, even if you hold it out and say, in, look at it in the mirror. Yeah, look at it in the mirror, get a different perspective. So even though I was going to go traditional um, Renaissance, which is uh, black, brown, shades of gray and white. Well, I, I could still use a gray pen. But I'm thinking I might want to, I think I want to do something in the background. Lightly. <laughs> and let's see. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm really liking it. But it, uh, it just... I'm just going to watch mom for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Doing that. Oh. You just picked a different area to shade. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And you don't have a lot of background. No. Um. No, I don't have those big. Yeah. I have open spaces, <gasps> which. I Did you make me I think know. of something? Did I give you well, the idea? one that I always uh, don't do. Well, you could do some, some, some stir it up. There you go. And I think I'm gonna let's let's see. I'm gonna see what it looks like in flipping oh. my tile. Oh, okay. That's the. It might look good in 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 the brown. Hmm. It might look good with a brown. Yeah, because I well, say I've done. I did just this and this with the brown, but I'm. Yeah. But I know, but it's going to be sure. a fine line, so it's going to be less, less brown. Right, a lot oh, less. And is band of renown. <laughs> and I had. Okay, apparently it's not in this. I need to find where I put them. I had. I think I had bought some 005s in the brown, but that's okay. I was going to say well, yeah, you just do it real light. If you had something even smaller, that that would be yeah. good. Yeah. I don't want to do that. All right. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because it'll also be a nice contrast to this. And so for those that don't know, this stir it up. You Well, I'll just do it on the back as I say. I'll do it in this little box. It is, it's just, you know, little curvy lines you can have it meander however you want you know you're just it's like a continuous aura but it doesn't have to be well it's not supposed to be straight at all and it can be either more jaggedy or more curvy it's completely up to you but it's just a nice fill-in it's a continuous line too right i mean it, yeah, it can. Yeah, it can be because I know you. I did notice it, she could, you know, pick it up or you know, like end it at at the line and then pick it up somewhere else. But I think generally uh, continuous. And Marie Jean says she likes our our models. Oh, and I like that. I see it. I was thinking about that white, just something in that center. It's a it's a very fancy spoke. That you're doing. Yeah, say so this, you, you just meander wherever. Actually, sometimes it makes me, well, I. find I have to force myself to go in different directions with it so that way it will look not just like oh squiggly lines going up and down although there there is another tangle that uh, kind of, that looks like that where it's just not what it was called I think it starts with a B this 
what I'm trying to do. Not as jaggedy because the other one I did, I did real hard edges. I haven't had enough caffeine yet, though. For that. But it's just kind of nice because you can just, yeah, alternate. Flip flop. It's just a really nice texture that I always forget about. I learned it. Oh, and oops, Robert, I said, I think I'm hearing the background noise. Let me mute you. Oops, that's three. And there we go. And. Oh, and I, and I will say, and I'm not, um, was that somebody asking a question a minute ago? I heard. No, it, it was me, me. I'll try. I, I, I muted, um, somebody because I was getting background noise and then I oh. was, uh, starting to ask a question. And Annie says hers looks like two fishes facing each other. Well, then you could draw a face it's too, okay. I suppose. <laughs> You know, if it turns out to be something. Um, oh, and Deb says, the, you, you know, she uses the stir it up all the time. And I like that it brings out my inner crazy. <laughs> oh, goodness. And. Um, this white pen is just not working too good, but I think it's okay. Into the chat, so. There we go. Oh, thank you, Zelda. Yeah, that's going to see that's going to be a nice contrast because this is, and and uh, for um, was it Miriam that's new to Zentangle? I mean, this was nice and easy, easy lines. And sometimes, I mean, the the decorating part can be hard. So a lot of times I just stick with what they did on the, the original Tangle. And then it's just like, OK, and then I'm going to just go from there and uh, and play and after you do it for a while then you you kind of get things in your mental toolbox that you can draw from and what we have fun with is kind of exploring things here and then that way it can help help grow the toolbox a little bit uh faster <laughs> Yeah, you know, and it's just something about having, for me, I like having, I have a lot of straight lines, then I like to add in something, um, just something different, just to add that contrast. So I'm, I'm glad I had this popped in my head. I was probably channeling you, Deb. And there's others that, that use it too. And it was just like, it was so nice. This was one that when I first saw it, I'm like, I need instructions. Even though it looks so simple, I just needed to put it in my head right. And there was a video. Um, so Rosita, this one is stir it up. Yep. And it's uh, all all one word, but yes. It, you're, and it is kind of like you're, you're, well, two things. You're stirring it up on the, on the page, but it is kind of like little miniature stirrings. You know, and what's interesting too, I'm just going to do the outsides and then decide, oh, and maybe these ones, and then decide if I'm going to leave those insides blank or or what. So, you know what mine reminds me of now? It reminds me of a kaleidoscope. Oh, yeah. It does. I think I'm done playing, but then I thought, oh, I could. <laughs> I could. I can find it. Oh, there it is. I'm seeing. It. I knew I had a, a brown pen. Of course, there's no brown anywhere else on this. But oh. I can always add it. Right? 
because you can always aura something. You know what's so interesting is that you know the um, as I'm, I'm just realizing with this stir it up. I was thinking, ah, it's kind of like doodling, but um, <laughs> but it, but it's still it's on purpose. It's not even you know it it doesn't even uh, fit the fit the definition because this year it's still strategic. The strategy yeah. of it is is to well, I'm making a meandering you know crazy line. I'm tr working to not not cross it. I'm working to kind of keep a sort of similar distance, and I'm working to change it up so that way. Yeah, you not. have to focus on it. Yeah, it's not mindless. That's for sure. Right. It looks like it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's one of my favorite favorite made up words. Strategy. Yes. 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 But yeah, and then it, you know, kind of pre-thinking too. It's like, well, how am I going to get into that corner, or how am I going to make sure that it doesn't look like it's, you know, spaghetti gone wild? Yeah. And then this one, though, if you're if you're doing this for a fill-in, it, it is one that you want to try to. Well, for me anyway, I was like, okay, take a hand stretch break because you know I'll hold the pen. I've kind of gotten away from having the, the it's still a death grip on the pen, but not pushing it into the paper like I used to. And then, you know, you wreck a lot of pen nibs that way. You know, it was just striking me that it's funny that it, it seems like this should be more mindless than it is, this uh, stir it up. Oh, see, that looks neat. Even just like that. Right. Huh. And I Are do you find gonna, it. Okay. Oh, go, go down the middle? I think I might. It would frame the two things, but I like it like that too. I yeah, that's that's the that's the huh. Huh. Interesting thing. All right. Oh, and I like that. So, and so another fill in. Uh, which is kind of what mom's doing is uh, auraing the inside. We didn't even talk about auraing because this doesn't really have it, but it's just drawing an outline, or this would be an inline, huh? you know, um, following the contours and um, and then filling in on the inside. Yep. We'll have to, your, I think your camera is a little, uh, probably from moving it, it's gotten a little out of focus. Oh, there. There, you know, there was the the knob or something on the thing that we played with one time. That that uh, oh, that made it worse for a minute. Oh, hard hard to adjust it when you when you uh. Oh, that looks a little better. Is that clear? A little bit. But yeah, that way they can just see. You know, especially for those that are new. You know, just the, those those the big sections. You just divided them up and that I, well i don't know that i want to do that here because that was what somebody suggested oh yeah i could just aura the inside and go from there other fill in things orbs just straight lines i was thinking about just doing straight lines but i'm glad i thought about this stir it up because that's well, just neater because i was thinking too that um cheesecloth is, would be a good one yeah but yeah. i i think you were right in that the wiggly whatever is a better contrast. Well, yeah. Because, too, with cheesecloth, this kind of hides the straight lines more so than, I think, if you were doing cheesecloth because you have these straight lines from the grid that right. might, um, it's just close enough that it might be like, oh, no, don't, you know, you might not like that. Right. Yeah, I'm deciding if I want to make this one thing or or two. I think I'm going to leave it this way for for a bit and then and ponder on it. And um And yeah, and I like the the shading turned out nice. Oh, that's what you know, something else cuz I can shade the, the stir it up a little bit. Okay, so let's do that. 
That way it's not just sitting there flat. So I'm going around the perimeter with the graphite. Just do this one section, that way we can see the difference. Oh. Let me make my, oh, get in the middle. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yes. That may, it's amazing what a difference mm -hmm. that makes. And then I can put a little bit, a um, uh -huh. little bit of white, but not a whole lot. And I'm going to spread it out a little bit. I just want a little glow, a little shine. Ooh, look at that. And who knows, maybe I'll come back in all of those sections and do, um, <laughs> and put in, okay, I have these little cups here to hold my tortillas. <laughs> I don't use them. I guess it's, it's just not as much fun as playing seek and find on my table. <laughs> And if you're not using a toned paper like this, you just the um, especially if like you're using a white paper, making sure not to uh, cover the whole thing with gray. Well, at least it will give you that rounding. Also, well, as you see, it did before I put the white on. The white just made it even more so. Let me get this, and then oh, it just adds so much. might well we'll just see might do it a little bit darker i don't know let's do this and then we want to see what everybody did oh that's cool annie <laughs> she says it reminds her of uh, uh getting together with girlfriends <laughs> when you're about 10 yes yes <laughs> We are like a group of we are. girls. <laughs> Especially in the evenings. No, I'm just Occasionally. Oh, be a transcript. Thanks. But yeah, we wanna if everybody wants to open up their webcam, we'll see what everybody did. Oh, we draw the Beatles. <laughs> that's funny, Diane. Oh. oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at these. Oh, Margaret, that's nice. See, and just coloring just those just those lines, it so oh, neat. Oh, very cool. Now I want to try it in a square. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Linda, I like the way she carried on the little. Um, uh, I just like what she did. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it, it, and for whatever reason, I'm seeing it real dark. That happened before. You say, and keep, and and at least keep your webcams open. I want to. Um, we'll oh, see she's how running many... away to get something. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you ready, Heather? I'm almost ready. Well, Judy's got to hold hers up again. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Right, and right, Jet, right, let's right, say, right, oh, and there's Jackie and, and Linda's and Elizabeth. I'm not seeing. Oh, and I've got several on the second page. Oh, there's, oh, now I'm seeing Linda. Okay, really weird. Okay, oh, there, okay. So hold, okay, hold them up. I'm going to get it now. And, oops, one second. All right, okay, so catching it now. And then just don't, uh, all right, hold them steady. And then let me paste. All right, now don't, don't, um. Don't do anything. <laughs> All right. I got it. Okay. So let me do something quick here. So that way I can uh, show everybody what everybody did. Let's do that. And it's, um, like, what is this one called? Arben. 
Oh, these are nice. Um, I am one because I have to do two things. Uh, new paste. Carbon AM3. Okay, so I think I, I got, oh yeah, so I've got everybody's, at least on these two, and I will put my email in the chat, but let me share my screen so that way everybody can see what everybody did, and if I missed yours, um, I'll put my, like I said, I'll put my email in the, um, in the chat, and you can email it to me, and when I get this ready to send out to everybody, um, then everybody will be able to see. So this is page two, since it's what's up. And what a nice job. Oh, Judy, thank you. And thanks, Kelly. Yeah, this is, yeah. And I like that. And so peaceful and happy. Yes, yes. And and easy. And Miriam, for first time and new to Zentangle. Wow. Look at that. How nice. Oh, and Sherry, I like the colors. Oh. Very cool. And Sandy, Sandy is, is, is channeling her inner rosemary. <laughs> I like that with, you know, putting the little sparkles in those and coloring those. Oh, neat. And then, uh, yeah, and, say, and, and looking at Linda's, yeah, I like that, you know, just changing some things up, adding some auras, adding some thickening it, in the it, middle. That looks very, um, it looks like shields, like African shields yeah. next to each yeah. other. It does. All right, so I'll get to the first page. Come on. One. Okay, and let me move this These up. look small to me. Um, can Jacqueline go closer screen? Oh, yeah. See, it's it's going to be somewhat small. Just, yeah, because, oh, well, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that better? Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Too many on top. Thank you. Yeah, and this one, this one is bigger. And I, did I have everybody? Oh, I do have everybody right. Oops. Yeah, but scroll it up a little bit so we can see the names there. Yeah, there we go. I had it just right, and then I moved. <laughs> oh, neat. Oh, and Karen, Karen did one big one and then filled it in with designs. That's a good idea. Yeah. It, uh, she made the design be the string. Yeah. The, the tangle be the string. Right. Yep. And it does, a lot of them do look like stained glass designs. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Art Deco. Art Deco stained glass. Yeah. Is what a lot of them look like. Yours especially, Heather, looking at it on the screen. It looks very Art Deco-y. It does. It does. And I like Inez's did different... Like at the about diff in different directions, uh, so that's what's fun. That's what you know. What's neat about the 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 fragment and reticula idea. And the reticula just means it, it's the grid, but it, it it doesn't confine a grid to something that is square or rectangular. Um, it can be anything. Actually, that that would be what this turns into. You know, instead of calling it the string, it could turn into the the reticula. And yeah, and Sandy says, uh, Anne, Anne's looks like Sydney Opera House. And it does, if you look, yeah. Yeah. Who, who knew you could draw that? See, right? Now you can. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, 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 it um, makes for so many opportunities. And, uh, and Anne, our, uh, it, yours looks like it too, a little bit. It, you know, just, how cool is this? And then I, I'm looking at, and maybe because Debs is in black and white, it makes me think of like we just had the lunar eclipse. But it makes me think, you know, when they when they show oh, phases of the moon. Yes, sort of, yes, that's it. Does it just made, it made me think about that? How awesome are these? So neat. Well. <laughs> I'm excited for this Very evening. Cool. Gee, it's going to be fun. All right. Well, okay. cut the recording.